Hi, I'm Saida Jules and you're watching filmsofindia.com. I think you already seen the trailer of JAL on uh, YouTube and on the various internet websites. Uh, JAL is a very interesting film uh, and uh, I'm quite excited that it's uh, releasing uh, within a short period of time. I'm playing a girl, her name is Kim. She is coming to the uh, run of catch to the desert to make a research about flamingos. And during doing that, she finds out um, that birds and other animals dying because of shortage of water. And she's trying to solve that problem in the film. And of course, in the same time, she becomes friends with villagers and uh, learning their culture. And she also a big excitement for the village because they have never seen you know, a person like that. So that's what my uh, character in the film, and I'm playing one of the main leads in the movie. You know, it was complete destiny. If I'll tell you the story of how I happened to be in jail, I think most of people won't believe it. At least I wouldn't, but uh, that's the reality. It happened absolutely by chance. I met uh, Girish Malik very randomly for some other project. Uh, and uh, then I left to London. And I was in London, and Girish Malik, he had my number. So when he happened to be in London, he called me, and I was extremely surprised that he even uh, remembered, because our meeting before that was extremely short. And he called me, and he told me, let's meet up, I have a movie I would like to discuss with you. Uh, no, it was not only English, it was also Hindi, and it was uh, Russian language as well, because also, of course, there are certain scenes that been cut from the movie. Uh, Hindi wasn't that difficult for me at all because I've been living in India for almost 10 years. But in fact, Russian was a challenge for me and it was surprising uh, because my accent in Russian was so weird that when I was doing dubbing, I really practiced before to dub my lines in Russian because they really sounded not like a normal Russian language from the screen. And I think what was really difficult language, it's not uh, an issue for me. And in fact, a movie in Hindi also wouldn't be uh, difficult for me to do. But what was difficult in Jal, the character I'm playing, Akim is a very, very different from my personality. And for me, it was a really serious performance because um, I think, say the Jules and Kim, it's like, completely, totally different, you know? And uh, Jal was my first movie, and uh, all other actors and co-stars in the film, most of them are very established, and some of them already have awards. And my role were, or, and my role was bigger than their role, so my performance had to be on a such a level that Girish Malik could feel proud that he took me in the film, and it was really worth it to do that. I would say with Tanishta Chatterjee, it was a better experience than supposed with other uh, females in the film because she is a very good actress and she had done so many films. You can really learn uh, a lot from her in a professional way. With Kirti with others, of course, like when you work together, uh, you're working together on a project, you're working towards, you know, a big thing, so you better jail. <laughs> so there is nothing, you know, else a part of it. But whom I would mention that would pro probably put up because with him, somehow we really uh, connected. And there are other people in the movie like Gary Richardson. He, uh, I think, in fact, everybody, every actor in our film did a good justice to the movie and did a really good job because for all of us, it was extremely tough to be in the desert for almost two months. You know, I think vanity vans, heat, uh, shortage of water, um, not a really proper food and everything else, that's not the worst things of it. There are much more uh, tougher. Uh, you know, when you come somewhere for a very long time uh, and you don't like conditions and you don't like whole their atmosphere around, you understand that it can't be changed when it really can't be changed. And you have to accept it. I'm a very flexible person. I can happily be 
in a five-star hotel and at the same time I can stay in the village and do my work and be happy by being there. So for us, um, run of cash, you know, part of all these issues, the most difficult part I think it was emotional thing when you're with a unit of 70, 80 people for one and a half months together and uh, you know nobody eat properly <laughs> nobody get uh, simple things so after a certain time you see the worst of every person and you have to cope up with that this is much more difficult than uh, not the right food than everything else i know how difficult it is to make a movie and to release it especially because so many films in bollywood are made but uh, they never come out to the market so I think for a new director, it's extremely uh, tough and it really means a lot. So if Girish Malik managed to make a film and to release it as well, uh, I think it's a great job and definitely, um, what can I say? What I really respect Girish Malik, first of all, as a director. He's a very talented director and to me it means a lot that uh, our first movie together, yeah, it was the first film for him as a director and for me it was my first movie as a main lead actress and that belief that he had in me you know it it extremely it's really meaningful to me and of course i believe in the film and i believe a lot in girish malik because he was that first person who believed in me in that time and it was so many act so many directors and producers in the you know in india who would tell me you will never do film in the indian market <clears throat> and things like that so when Girish Malik believed in me that I can do it, but uh, obviously my, uh, uh, I think the best feelings I can have, they probably would be for Girish Malik, because really Jal means a lot. And uh, as a director, yeah, he is talented. And I'm very happy that my first movie uh, in Bollywood, it's a very intelligent film with a talented director, with a talented cameraman, with people in technical department who really knew what they were doing because all my other films like no matter what they would be uh, you know but the first movie is really important and i'm you know really happy that the audience is going to see me not in a glamorous side because in my life i think i'm uh, i love glamour and i love being stylish you know and have all that feminine things but in my first movie jal i look completely different I look like a simple girl in the desert who is fighting for water and for the right reasons. I don't know, I think uh, for an audience it's interesting film because um, you can't really define the gel if it's a commercial film or it's a festival film. It's something in between. It's not really commercial, but at the same time, it's not really festival. Like what our director Girish Malik likes to say that it's a movie with a soul. I think it's a film that, um, of course, that Indian filmmakers have done, and it's really interesting. I think for international audience, it's also interesting film because it talks about issues that really exist in the country. But at the same time, it's a feature movie, and there are a lot of different um, stories and emotions that go in in the film. You know, in one way, it's a drama film, but in another, uh, a lot of dialogues are extremely comical. And uh, I'm sure I can guarantee you that you will have a lot of love while watching the film. You know, whom I really admire, I uh, just, I think, as a human being, it would be Shah Rukh Khan. So, it's very common, I know, and I don't like when, you know, everybody gives you the common answer. Like, yeah, but really, honestly speaking, and I'll tell you why. There are many good actors in Hollywood. Yeah, uh, but uh, what I really admire in Shah Rukh Khan is that he's an extremely humble person and he is so down to earth and he, he respects everyone. And a part of being, of course, he's a superstar of India and he's only one uh, Indian person who known worldwide. Yeah, of course, when you meet him, I think you're stunned by his energy and that uh, he is the number one person of India, yeah, but at the same time, by being who he is, he's so humble, and this is what really impressed me a lot, because I have never met anyone uh, who would be so big, you know, and who would be such a humble person. No, like, I mean, that you tell me any foreign actor in India who can inspire, at least nobody 
inspires me in that way. I think, you know, most of foreign actors, they come to India to do, <clears throat> they do one film and then it doesn't really move anywhere. Because first of all, I think to be successful in a creative industry, you have to live in India. You can't be here for six or seven months. You have to leave and you need to be part of Indian mentality and you need to know it. I'm not talking about Katrina Kaif because she is half Indian, right? And she's not really a foreigner who made to India and made it. There is nobody who inspires me, absolutely.